Hey everyone, it's Nightlight9, and I know I've been out for a little bit. This past week I was at a conference, so I'm a little bit late, but I really want to get into this news. We've got some big updates, which I'm sure you've seen in the notices, and I just kind of want to cover those for everybody. Um, if you haven't watched the video that they put out on X, aka the old Twitter, uh, you should take a look at it. It's got me pretty hyped. I think I've watched it about five times so far. Um, with that being said, uh, they kind of walk through or, you know, gloss through a bunch of the new uh, updates that are coming with the anniversary, but I'm going to go through this list because I assume most of you have watched it. Um, let me know if you didn't, or if you thought I should have included it in this video. I'm just trying to not give you guys the same stuff you've probably already been seeing. Uh, so a new crisis dungeon coming. I believe that's tomorrow. That's pretty cool. Uh, we got this boss rush, which... Uh, one thing I do want to point out with that, the way this works, you beat a boss, they unlock a new one every day. There's a co-op and a solo. The co-op gives you some crystals on a one-time clear basis, and the solo gives you uh, these these little vengeance medals, and you can use those to buy um, items in a shop. There's one of each type of item. Now, one thing I will point out, I don't know if there's going to be enough medals to clear everything in the shop. Based on this, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bosses. Uh, I think there's probably like, give or take 14 items in the shop, because I believe there's a uh, 10 pull for each character, which would be like 13. And then there's one five star ticket. So, uh, you know, if you're worried that you might not have enough for everything, uh, it doesn't hurt to just save those. And then you can use them at the end in case you do have to pick and choose. The next thing here is the one loop per day discount draw. And I'm actually gonna show that in the uh, draw section. Uh, here it is, it's the step up draw. And what do I think about this? Um, good, bad, kind of depends on where you are as a player or where your account is at this point in the game. So we'll just take note that on step one, the five star rate is doubled for a thousand, which I mean, that seems pretty damn good. Step two, it's tripled for 2,000. Then, and you can use blue or red crystals for this. Typically on step up draws, red crystals only, I think, have traditionally been the thing. So this is pretty cool. Uh, step three, you get a four star weapon guaranteed, uh, but no increased rate to these. And then on step four, which is the only full price draw, you get 50% uh, increase of five star weapon appearance. And I think this looks amazing. However, I think it depends on how long you've been playing, what your account looks like. And the reason is, you know, as I think about this, there's a lot of weapons that I'm just not that excited to get five star copies of at the moment because I'm a day one player. I've got a lot of the weapons that I really need um, to, you know, a high OB status, if not OB 10, at least ones that are going to be available, you know, from a draw like this. And so, Here's what I think. I think if you're a new player or new-ish, like, I don't know, if you've been playing the game for probably, let's say we're at about a year, somewhere less than six months, most likely, I think this is a lot of value. Uh, double rate, triple rate, and then 50% more. Those are great rates, and you can do all of these draws for 6,000 crystals. Um, I mean, obviously, <laughs> there is the one year anniversary coming up, so, you definitely want to have a lot or you know plenty of crystals to spend on that. But if you have some to spare, I don't think this is bad if you're needing to just get copies of a lot of weapons because the chances that you can get a lot of five-star weapons I think are pretty good from this. However, if you're a veteran player like myself, um, I think there's innately less value in this because there's a higher likelihood that you're going to get weapons that you don't particularly need or use or that you already have to OB-10 and taking a weapon to plus one, two, three after OB-10 has very, very little, almost no value. So wanted to cover that uh, in here just to show this, but I do think that there is a lot of value in here for the right players, something to at least be considered. Going back to the notices, um, the critical threat event is obviously out. It's been out for a day or so and you get yourself an easy thousand crystals. So pick that up for sure. 
Co-op battle, I am actually really excited for some of these because I really need to do some work on my Leviathan. That is for sure. And ultimately, it's going to cost you a lot of stamina one way or the other, but it is you do get more bang for your buck uh, if you do them in co-op. Now, the moment that I've really, really been excited to talk about is the first anniversary overview here. Uh, really love this graphic. I think this sets the tone that I'm looking for out of the first uh, anniversary here. Um, first thing to note is that we are going to get uh, some sort of voucher or something for one set of gear of our choice, as long as it was released before April. Uh, and I think they actually give the exact date, April 29th of this year. And it also can't be a limited gear like crossovers, etc. cetera. Uh, this is pretty good. I think this is something that I'm glad to see finally coming into the game, even though it's only choose one. But so many of us have wanted at least one, if not two or three or possibly even four pieces of gear that we missed at some point. And it and that's even as a day one player. There was there's stuff that I missed that I like. If you're newer, then it's almost guaranteed that there's going to be something very useful for you. Uh, a lot of Arcanum outfits and things of that nature. Um, at the very end of the day, though, maybe it's even something that's purely cosmetic. Uh, I don't know if this will ever change as far as how late this goes on. Uh, as far as I don't think it'll ever be like if you hold on to it, that eventually they'll increase this date. I think it's just more likely that eventually they come out with another one of these at some point that has, you know, later stuff involved. So uh, you could do this a couple ways, you know, enhance your account with whatever you need. Uh, wait to see, you know, what you're missing for specific content. Um, that's really up to you. I can tell you, I have a lot of stuff that I need. Stuff that I would need on characters I don't use, I'll have to consider. I might hold on to this for quite a bit just to kind of really give some thought to that. Uh, but there are definitely some dresses for Aerith that I would really like to have. And so I'll have to kind of decide whether it's going to be aesthetics or more helpful to my actual account. But at the end of the day, uh, just do something that makes you feel good about things, right? Um, 26 five-star weapons. Uh, this is pretty cool as well, because what I think that they're doing, both with this uh, looping step-up thing that you can do, I don't think I mentioned it, but that step-up that I showed, I believe you could, that resets once per day. So you could do it every day until it's over. Um, but with that and all of the free draws that we're getting and these five-star weapons that we're going to get, I think they're really trying to catch up uh, new players and even, you know, players that have been around for a little bit of time, but still joined kind of late. And I like that because I think the game has struggled to provide the right mix for new players and veteran players for quite a bit now because they've had kind of like two additional releases from the main release, right? They have come out with the Steam version of the game, which brought a lot of players, I'm sure, that had never played previously. Then Southeast Asia, the game released. And obviously new players are coming, you know, probably all the time, but those were two big moments, I think, when an influx of new people came. And I think based on what I've seen with events, with costumes, weapons, etc., it's been a little bit of a struggle for them to try to appease everyone. So I think that this signals kind of a big push to catch everybody up at the one year mark, which makes a lot of sense. And then maybe if we can get a little bit more, uh, you know, evenness across the board, it will be a little bit easier for them to put out content that I think is, you know, just a little bit more closely uh, related to what everybody needs instead of always having to kind of pick or choose uh, which audience to cater to. At least that's my hope. Uh, but with this, yeah, obviously we have 13 characters. Each one of them is going to get two weapons that you can choose from. I don't know how they're going to do it, uh, whether they set it up to where, you know, you log in and you pick or like a wish list type of function or a voucher. I don't know, um, but I think that, that is very, very awesome and I'm really excited. I think this is the kind of hype, the kind of cool stuff, uh, the giveaways that I, I would be expecting with something like this and they are not letting us down. Um, okay, here we have, you know, some login stuff and more missions, you know, to get enhancement materials, which is great. Uh, 300 draws, which I uh, always welcome. And then here, a draw with one or more five-star weapons guaranteed in which the character changes daily. Uh, awesome. 
awesome, and a campaign with the most drastically increased experience rates ever seen. Again, I think helping catch up people's accounts, because if they're not um, uncapping the level again, which they have not said they're doing, you know, people who have been at max level for a while now, they're not going to get much out of increased experience, and that's totally fine. But giving everybody else a chance to catch up, again, I think is kind of what they're going for in a lot of these things with the anniversary. And I think that's great because I think that will help the game get uh, maybe a little bit fresher for veteran players instead of having to just wait around for only the, the most uh, high level content to come out. I think we'll maybe see more of a back to the basics. Like when we first started and everything had a bit of a challenge to it, that was really nice, and I really hope that that happens. Okay, um, list of updates. I'm pretty excited with a lot of these. Addition of ultimate weapons, and we're going to go over that in just a moment. It's going to be a new type of weapon that is not equipped in any of the places that we currently equip weapons. Uh, pretty excited about that. It's going to have its own version of a C ability, and yeah, I'm excited. Uh, first anniversary limited gear. Uh, if you watch that video that they have on X, it says that there's going to be four Bahamut gears and they show cloud in one. That's what I use for the thumbnail in this video. Pretty excited. And we will go over the cloud one that they show. It looks really strong. So I think these limited time gears are going to be uh, meta defining in a lot of ways. Addition of brands. We'll go over that in a little bit too. Um, they're adding a new tower and more story. Always great. Um, on to the ultimate weapons. So here is a picture of one of the ultimate weapons. This is a screen grab that Tom Rom got um, in the Discord from that video. And you see here, this is Sephiroth with his. And they showed essentially three different characters with these ultimate weapons. They showed Sephiroth, Cloud, and Tifa, each doing you know an attack with it. They all have this bluish glow to them. And, uh, you know, I just think it looks really cool. I'm really excited to see what they do with these. Obviously, they're going to have their own abilities. And that, you know, is, is said here. So it allows for the use of new UC abilities or like ultimate C abilities, which are unique to each weapon. Uh, and we don't know how that's going to work. Uh, it does say that in addition to not being able to be equipped in regular weapon slots, ultimate weapons do not have regular C abilities. So I'm really curious as to how that works, uh, how stats on those works, et cetera, and whether or not, you know, those are going to be, you know, limited to a certain amount of uses, or you can use them just normally, or maybe they have some other criteria for determining use, maybe their own type of gauge or something else. I don't know. We'll have to just kind of wait and see. Uh, the battle tower here, this is going to be a way for us to get new rewards and some of the special items are ultimate weapons. How strong those are, you know, that remains to be seen, but it's still pretty cool. And 10,000 crystals, again, loving that they're going to give us a lot of rewards during this time because everybody's excited and I think most people are going to pull really, really hard on the banners that come up. Um, and, you know, Cetra's... Next, we have Cetra's story, Birth of the Destroyer. Uh, this will be pretty cool, especially for people who... I mean, I know some people play this game solely for the story. So that'll be something I think pretty exciting for a lot of people. Now here we move on to the limited time Bahamut garb. They're showing cloud here. And again, they said there's going to be four. Uh, down here again, you can see we'll have four sets of gear in total, including cloud exclusive gear. And I, I can tell you, I actually like this. I can already see the comments now. People are gonna be like, it's Bat Cloud, Batman Cloud, whatever you wanna call it. I, I still think it's, pretty awesome and i i like what they've done there i even don't mind the mask i'm not always a big fan of that but i think it's pretty cool as far as our abilities these look pretty sick uh boost attack all allies that's obviously good you know the the original ones that we got on the six month were boost attack boost physical attack all or boost magic attack all so this really kind of just you know goes online and completes that set with the boost attack um, it's another, you know, way to basically get everybody that much stronger. And then it also has Bahamut's Bite. Boost physical attack, also boosts physical ability damage, you know, when attack stance is max. So, the fact that it, it's going to have two R abilities kind of built into one, right? Uh, the boost physical attack and then also the physical ability potency, um, that seems 
really busted, especially when you're also combining it with this first R ability. These are, I, it's probably going to be a scenario where people want to pick up all four sets of this gear, I imagine. The brands, this is like, I don't know, depending, it, it's basically a way to enhance individual weapons, okay? There's going to be three rarities of these uh, branding stones, and essentially, you know, it's like a low quality, medium quality, high quality, or whatever, however you want to call that. And based on the rarity tier, uh, they're going to have chances to grant different effects and, you know, kind of like Materia, how high those effects are will be probably influenced by the rarity. I don't know exactly how this is going to be implemented, but essentially you'll use these on weapons to give them higher stats in the video. They show it putting on a sword from Cloud and showing that the C ability is increasing for the actual weapon. So this will definitely have a pretty good impact, I would imagine, on the game. Um... I would say similar to like the high wind effect only for individual weapons, which means it's more customizable. And, uh, you know, I thought from the beginning of the game it's probably only a matter of time before we got something like this. Uh, for improvements, I'm really excited about a few of these. So I'm gonna go over each one. The first one is very exciting to me. Addition of an option for automatic activation of limit abilities. That's pretty cool because I've been thinking that for a long time. We have the ability to auto, but limits you still have to click, which is fine. But you know, if you're literally just running something to farm uh, while you're not really paying attention, sometimes uh, limit abilities can be a big difference maker in either speed or whether or not you actually clear it, depending on how, how difficult that is. If you're farming summons, you might want this limit ability to be auto if that's what you're doing. So I think that's great. Uh, addition of retry button to the premium quests, that's pretty helpful so you don't have to scroll down through the list every time, especially if you're doing one of the ones on the bottom. Improvement of battle AI for allies, that's obviously great. They've improved this once and I did see or notice a pretty good difference. So I think they're honing this in and I think that's, that's great. Improvement of recommended party, that has been needed since day one. Uh, the recommendations, if you click that button, you almost always have a party that's terrible for whatever you're trying to do. Um, so that's pretty good. Improvement of daily and weekly uh, missions, quests, uh, season pass, login bonus, and Yuffie's character model. So all of these improvements I think are great. I think that they are all pretty necessary just because we're still getting the same kind of rewards that we got in the very beginning of the game. So improving these, uh, I think... Is just you know it's something that needed to happen and why not just do it at the at the one year um as far as the season pass uh just another plug here for the discord and for tom rom who just always comes up with the most useful stuff for us in the discord and if you're if you're in the discord it, he makes that available to everyone uh this is a chart that he made showing what the pass upgrades are and so you can see they haven't upgraded any of the gems, but they've upgraded most of the other stuff that you can get, both from the normal pass and the premium. And so it just makes everything that much better. And especially if you're somebody who likes to buy the pass, I mean, it just is giving you more value than they otherwise had. Definitely never going to see a complaint about that. And also just wanting to take this opportunity to thank Tom Rom. Uh, for putting up stuff like this because it's extremely helpful. Another chart that he made, by the way, that I'm not putting in the video, but it's on the Discord, is he made a list in a chart just like that one of every single um, garb or outfit that should be included in the pick one for every, he's broken them down by character. So basically went back all the way up to, you know, April 29th and ones that weren't limited and listed those out and shows what they do as well. So if it's uh, you know a little overwhelming for you to try to figure out what you might need or compare and contrast, a chart like that is extremely helpful. Um, last here, we've got adjustment of Yuffie's character model. I don't really know what that means. And I've, honestly, I don't really care that much. Um, this just here kind of just explains everything I've just gone through uh, in a little bit more detail uh, with the exception of Yuffie. Um, I don't, I don't really 100% know what that means. Um, so those are the updates for the anniversary overview. 
We've also got a countdown camp campaign on, which I'm sure you've all been aware of. We're getting tons of stamina tonics, which are really nice because I'm always running low on that. Uh, 90 free draws. And again, they're going to have five star we weapons at a higher rate, which is pretty cool. Uh, memory vouchers, etc., which again are going to help everybody, especially if you're lagging behind on a little bit of stuff, helping you catch up. I think that's a really big deal. Uh, these lottery boxes, obviously this can be a super hit if you get pretty lucky on them and can help you maybe pull for some better stuff. The rest of this, uh, not, not that big of a deal. Um, so that is, I think, just about everything that has come out recently. Um, like I said, I, I saw all this while I was sitting in a hotel room and I was like, Man, I really would love to record a video on this right now, uh, but I had to wait till today when I got back. So those are all the things that are in store. I am, I love that they are building the hype. Uh, we've got, you know, about a week until this stuff starts releasing. I'm really, really excited. If there's anything you think I missed, please let me know. I do, tr I am going to try to uh, come out with, you know, a little bit more videos or videos at a, uh, you know, faster pace than normal uh, during this time, you know, work and life permitting, but that is the goal. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Subscribe for future content if you're not already. If you are, I appreciate each and every one of your support. And as always, thanks for watching.